The Lord is good all the time and all the time. The Lord is good and that's his nature. Let us march on. Strengthen in the Lord. Let us march on. Strengthen in the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, we are privileged and honored to host his Lordship, Right Reverend Bishop Matthias Sekamanya Emeritus Lugazi Diocese. This is the day we have been waiting for. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. In this holy sacrifice of the Mass, we have 191 of our brothers and sisters who are to receive the sacrament of confirmation and 41 to have their solemn commitment in faith. At this moment, let me invite our chaplain, Reverend Father Dr. Gerald Buenvu, to welcome and invite the bishop to lead us in the celebration of the Mass. My dear Bishop, we are excited to have you in this family of our Lord of Africa, Namiriango SS. And at this time, we request you to lead us in the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. The head teacher of the school and the staff, Reverend Fathers, and dear students, I greet you all. I have come here not only to give confirmation 
to a few of you, but to pray with you that the Holy Spirit may help you to grow progressing in your faith and cooperate in your human social development. But always the springboard is the faith. Pray for yourselves. You don't know what you will be tomorrow. You don't know yet. So ask God to help you, dear student, that he may pave a way for you which will be helpful to live in this world as you want. For the greater glory of God and for the development of our country, that whatever you do, you may do it in the light of Christ. At times, the devil blinds us, and we do what God won't like to, to be done. Let us ask for his pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask you, Saint Mary of Abaji, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and lead us to life everlasting. In great joy, let us join the choirs in heaven as we sing the Gloria.
Let us pray. O God, who have taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant in the same spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading has come from Prophet Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 1 to 4a. It is to be taken by Kamathi Francis. In this reading, the prophet tells us of the nature of the Spirit of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, let's listen carefully. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. A shoot springs from the stalk of Jesse, a scion thrusts from his roots. On him the spirit of the Lord rests, a spirit of wisdom and insight, a spirit of counsel and power, a spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He does not judge by appearances, he gives no verdict on hearsay, but is the rich with integrity, and with equity gives a verdict of the poor for the land. The word of the Lord. response or your son our response is Lord send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth Lord send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth Lord send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth Lord send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the you 
take a word now, brother, die. Returning to the dust from which they came. And you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth. The second reading has come from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 1 to 6, then 14, then 22b to 23, and 32 to 33, being taken by Amanya Rina. This reading points to the Holy Spirit that filled the Apostles on the Pentecost day and began to speak in foreign languages. Brethren, we ought to listen carefully. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When, Ponte when Pentecost Day came round, the apostles had all met in one room. When suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from heaven, the noise from of which filled the entire house in which they were sitting, and something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. These separated and came to the rest on each of their heads. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak foreign languages, as the Spirit gave them the gift of speech. Now there were devout men living in Jerusalem from every nation under heaven, and at this sound they all assembled. Each one bewildered to hear these men speaking his own language. Then Peter stood up with the eleven and addressed them in a loud voice, Men of Judea, and all of you who live in Jerusalem. Make no mistake about this, but listen to carefully what I say. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God, by the miracles and potents and signs that God worked through him when he was among you, as you all know. This man, who was put into your power by the deliberate intention and the foreknowledge of God, you took and had sacrificed by men outside the law. 
God raised this man Jesus to life, and all of us are witnesses to that. Now raised to the heights by God's right hand, he has received from the Father the Holy Spirit who was promised. And what you see and hear is the outpouring of that Spirit, the word of the Lord. Brethren, Mary, please stand up to welcome the gospel. Reading from the Holy Ghost, for according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my Father will love him. And we shall come to him and make our home with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words. And my word is not my own. It is the word of the one who sent me. I have said these things to you while still with you. But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you 
of all I have said to you. The gospel of the Lord. The director of this school, Mr. Matovu, and your wife, and the staff, thank you for planning to have the children who, are not yet who have not yet received holy, com holy confirmation that they invite a bishop to come and they pray with them. This does not concern only the stu those people who are going to be co confirmed, but all of us. It is an occasion for us to renew our faith in the assistance of the Holy Spirit, that he may give us new light. And you should thank God he has given you new light since you conceived the idea of studying this school of our little of Africa. So you should constantly pray that he may, give, he may enlighten you more and more and that your staff may cooperate with you so that the idea you have in mind may constantly be realized, the dream be in the realized. So I, so I also greet the staff not only the teachers, there are so many people doing different services. And this somehow explains what Paul says. The Holy Spirit gives different gifts. Not all of them will be in education. You look at these communicators, now these people taking photos and all that. Not everybody can do that. How about these children? There are so many but if you are gifted in singing, there is a choir. We have seen these two students coming here to read. Not every student can read so. Of each student, and they guide them accordingly. It is not an easy work. Don't just let the students choose what they feel. That's why the English people say, if all, horse, if horses were, all wishes were, uh, were horses, everybody would write. So it's your job to identify and you pray through the Holy Spirit that he may help you to guide your students. You are now in the place of the parents. It's not all that an easy job, I know, especially with the number you have. But by the help of, of God, you have done what you have done. And I'm sure by now, after 19 years, as you have told me, there are some former students of whom you are proud. Now, the students, thank you for welcoming me. You are all very happy. And my prayer is that you may achieve, each of you, 
what you have in mind under the guidance but under the guidance of your parents and the staff. Please don't go along by yourself. Listen to what the teachers What do I want to do? Teacher, I want to do that. What do you think? Especially the class teacher. He will help you to take the subject, maybe which will be p better than what you dream of. I have come here not only to give confirmation, but to remind you, all of you, and I believe the majority are Christians, that we should live according to God's will. We have heard from the Isaiah chapter 11, a shoot will come up from the stem of Jesse. From his roots, a branch Will, fruit, will, be, will bear fruits. The Spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. All of you pray that the Holy Spirit is always with you to guide you. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding. When we say a wise person, not only that he is academically very wise, wise is the, you could say in other words, common sense. He knows what to be done in a given circumstances and act accordingly. That's a wise person. Understanding. Pray that you understand each other. Not to understand the, the, the matter which you are given is one of them. But the most important thing is that wherever you live, there is a mutual understanding. That is peaceful relationship and be responsible that each of you may do what you have to do. The spirit of counsel. You are still students. You need to be guided to be counseled. So please, when your staff st says, don't do that. And maybe calls you in the office. Why did you do that? How is this? Don't fear. Say what is in your, in your mind. And then he can guide you perhaps accordingly. Not only here, the first and primary guides are our parents. Do you share with your parents your, dream of your dreams? Do you listen to them because they have better experience and a longer one than yourself? We are just starting to walk. The spirit of power. Do you know where you are strong? What strength God has given you? I don't mean strength to beat people, to fight, or to cultivate. But how do you use your intelligence and common sense, which should guide you in what you do to act as a wise person. After the guidance of the formators here and your parents, but the best guide is the Holy Spirit. If you have faith, every morning you should say, Lord, let me see what you want me to do today and how then you will not go wrong. The spirit of knowledge. You have to acquire knowledge. Now, those who, have been, who are going to be confirmed, they have been taught, but maybe not all assimilated what has been taught in the same way. So, for those who are to be confirmed, pray that the Holy Spirit may help you to digest and assimilate what you have been taught. That will help you to live as a good Christian expected by Christ. The fear of God. Now, dear students, you are still young, under the guidance of your parents and the staff here. But you need this gift of your God 
especially after school. Do you fear God? This is a concern for all of us. How about the staff? Teaching staff and other members of the staff who do different uh, duties. Do you fear God? Do you live as a Christian according to the gospel? Uh, I don't, don't answer. It's so easy to say yes, but do you really? I put it to the staff also. They say we are father. That I live according to what Jesus Christ teaches. You remember, Jesus Christ taught for three years. At times, the, the apostles and even others didn't understand well what he meant. That's why one day they asked, ask hey, Jesus, let me sit on your right and John on your left, or maybe light right, left. And Jesus, do you know what you are asking for? Can you take the cup which I will take? Yes, we shall. I said, yes, but you don't know what it means to take a bitter cup. cup. Now you are happy. All of you beat staff, beat your students. But there, are, there may be a time of dark crowd. You don't know where you are going. Invite the Holy Spirit to guide you. As you will remember, the, with renew our. Let each of you, of you pray to God. God, I don't know what tomorrow will happen to me or another day. I don't know for you students what you really are will be. After, after. They are very successful. There are some who are failures. There are so many things which can make one a failure. Some of you will be financial managers, administrators. You don't know. Guide me, the Holy Spirit. Give me judgment now to live the to live the way I should. Right, yes. Will it be the belt? If that, that means I do things right, the way I should, the way I'm expected, that's the belt which makes you feel comfortable. Faithfulness, the sash around your waist. Be truthful. Don't, don't, make, don't be just double mind, double, double behavior. Show what you are in front of a teacher before you were parents and also you were students. But don't say, yeah, Bishop said we should show ourselves and now you do things which are wrong. No. Do what is right. What you are expected at your age, at your stage of formation. How about your faith? How would you express your faith when you are on holidays? Do you pray at home with the family? If they don't care, be courage. This is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Say, Daddy, Mommy, why don't we pray together? At school we pray. And you, t you took me to the school to, to study catechism. Catechism tells us to pray in the morning and evening together. And it is, and it is said, 
a church which prays together will be blessed. Do we pray together? The, he warns us the wolf will live with the lamb. Yeah, when you come here, dear students, you are of different characters, but they try. And the proverb says, Akutuare Chiro. Akutuare Chiro. The same in this school. Don't expect the sugar and the honey all the time. At times, the discipline may be hard, but it is for your good. Ask God that you are flexible in conforming to the formation you have. But also, you know, this is a challenge to the teacher. Leopard will lay, will lie down with a goat. You know, leopards eat goat. But they will. where that wind was going, to that house where they were. 
and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Those who were in hiding opened the door and they went out. I said many people had gathered around their house and Peter came out and he spoke. The way he was speaking So many people repented, baptized them, and on that day about 3,000 people were baptized. The same spirit is still working today for those who are going to be confirmed, don't expect to speak different tongues with your mouth, but it gives you power, strength to speak with your way you live, so that somehow you fulfill what Jesus Christ had, Christ had already said. They will no mind by the way they behave. Why is this man so honest? Because he's a Christian. How comes that that family yeah, is always very happy, the children are well formed? How? Because they are Christians. They follow the gospel. And it's the Holy Spirit who gives you that moral support always to follow the gospel. The gospel is not a book to be read and put aside. But the gospel, you read a bit and it reminds you of what Jesus Christ teaches and they see whether you realize that in your life. If not, you pray. If you fail, you ask for pardon and march again. If anyone loves me, to obey my teaching. That's the job. The Holy Spirit, the Consoler, the Father sends us, helps us to understand it better what we should be. And I don't need to go further. I have come here as a minister of the sacrament of confirmation, as one of the successors of the apostles. What I pray for and what I want you to be, to be conversant with the gospel. You should take some time, maybe by yourself and the read, or listen when there is a religious talk so that you can deepen your faith. And also don't be judgmental. Don't say, even that girl does this. Even that boy does. No. This is between you and the God. That's the courage we, we are asking for. By the assistance of the Holy Spirit. If you follow that, and thank God that you are in such a school, which is God feared by the director and the staff. Some schools don't care about religion. They're about acquiring knowledge. But Jesus says, without me you can do nothing. And these are the people who later on, through such a school, will be thieves, adulterers, fornicators, drunkards, who steal a lot of money in the business. Because you have no Christian conscience. Pray that you don't become one of those people who are a shame to their family, at times to their uh, country. So I don't have, I don't pray only for those who are going to confirm. And I don't say this only to those who are conf going to confirm, but I have said that to you all. Say, are you walking in the light of Christ? The way you behave, are you a soul, are you souls as a Christian in this school? Oh. This school is dedicated to Mary of Africa. We are African, we are still backwards in many ways. We are coming up, but we are not yet up to the standard of those countries which can say they are educated. Pray. The director and the staff. 
Prisoners, you contribute to the development of our country and to the development of Africa through what you give to these people. Yesterday, someone came to me asking me to bless the marriage of his daughter. I said, now, where is the daughter in America? Where is the, the, the man in America? So they met there. But one is from Uganda, another one is from Egypt. Would you like that? Is God making a mistake by creating you an African? I know there is no stumbling block, but is that the right way? When your father who is 80, go to Belgium to see you. Is that the social life you like? I don't know. Let us now go to confirmation. I've gone through the gifts of the Holy Spirit, how you can apply them to your life. Now let us pray and ask God to help you. The Lord be with you. Dear Bishop, we are grateful for nourishing us with the Word of God. In this part of our liturgy, the candidates for the confirmation will come forward. We shall profess our faith by reciting the Creed, and the Bishop will confirm our brothers and sisters. After that, the candidates for solemn commitment will also come forward and make their solemn vows holding their Bibles. <coughs> At this moment, Dear candidates for confirmation, please come forward as the choir prepares the hymn for the Holy Spirit. May those people come. May be stand there in the shade. song to the Holy
Now, please, is it what the church tells you? Not myself now, but the church reminds you that on the day of Pentecost, the apostles received the Holy Spirit as the Lord had promised. They also received the power of giving the Holy Spirit to others. <coughs> and so completing the work of baptism. This we read in the Acts of the Apostles, when St. Paul placed his hands on those who had been baptized, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they began to speak in languages. Bishops are the successors of the Apostles, and they have this power of giving the Holy Spirit to the baptized, either personally or through the priest they appoint you will see that one or two priests will also anoint you but what matters is the prayer after anointing it is myself who said nowadays the coming of the holy spirit in confirmation is no longer marked by the gift of tongues but we know he is coming by faith. He fills our heart with the love of God, brings us together in one faith, but in different vocations. I mentioned that to you, that you, know, you will not take one way. And the works of within us to make the church one and holy. The gift of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, will it be a spiritual sign and a seal to make you more like Christ and the more perfect members of the church. At his baptism by John, Christ himself was anointed by the Spirit and is sent out on his public ministry to set the world on fire. You have already been baptized into Christ, and now you will receive the power of the Spirit and the sign, <coughs> the sign of the cross on your forehead. You must be witnesses before all the world to his sufferings, death, and resurrection. Your way of life, I repeat this, your way of life should at all times reflect goodness of Christ. Christ gives a variety of gifts to his church and the Spirit distributes them among the members of the church's body to build up the holy people of God in unity and love. Be active members of the church live in, in Jesus Christ. Under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, you will live your lives completely in the service of all, and it did as it did Christ, who came not to be served, but to serve. So don't ask, what can he, can he do for me? What, what, what can I do for this part? for this situation, for this person. So now, before you receive the Spirit, I ask you to renew the profession of faith you made, <laughs> you made in the baptism. All your parents and the godly parents made in union with the whole church. Now, I ask you, do you believe in Jesus Christ is the only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost and today is given to you 
sacramentary in confirmation. Do you believe that? Do you do that? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? I repeat, do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church? Do you believe that? Do you belong to the Catholic Church? And tomorrow you go to other churches. And you see that you have seen a new life. Will you do that? God will blame you. If you are a Catholic, you must die a Catholic. And keep this, the staff, please help these teachers. There are so many evangelizers. Are they all right? Help them to come out of this school convinced of the teaching of the church. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost and today is given to you sacramentally? Do you, do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church? I put that question to you. Do you believe? Now, anoint you. Make two lines. <coughs> Father, we help you. And uh, we shall go. All things is one thing. But what matters, what it matters is the prayer which I say after. Please others, you can see it.
sorry. Do to others what you like others do to you. Again, I say the same thing. You should have made this commitment long ago. But your parents didn't care. And again, you should send the school which has managed to organize and to teach you what you should have known in the primary school. Don't do the same thing when you become parents. Be Catholics 24 hours or every year and they live according, not to say Catholics. What Jesus says, not those who say, my Lord, my Lord, you will go to heaven, but those who do the will of my Father. Now, hold up your Bible. Renew your commitment, which was made by the parents. Now, as you, you have been prepared, say, I, 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 I. Continue. I, Abraham. I, Kabuya Elvis. I, Elijah. All his ways, all his works, and all his empty promises. And I greatly promise to follow Christ and to stay strong in his until my death. Amen. May Almighty God bless you and make you live what you are pronounced, pronounced publicly. I wish. You are to cram that pray, that those words you have received today. You have said yourselves, and repeat, repeat it again. I carry Elvis, well holding oh, the Bible, Bible in my heart. Do solemnly renew, renew my baptismal, baptismal promises. promises. I reject Satan, all his ways, all his works, all and all his empty promises. And I, I greatly promise and to stay strong in his religion until my death. Amen. May the Almighty God help you to live so. Not only when you are in school, especially when you are doing very different professions which you will qualify in. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One of the signs which you should not feel ashamed of is to wear a rosary or a medal. Now, young people take it as a, a way of life. I asked one who was, wear, who was wearing a rosary, do you know anything about Mary? Ah, some of you know, and he was not even a Catholic. He was not even a Catholic. So, repeat that commitment and a number of times, don't forget it till you die. And you say, I'm a Catholic. I declare publicly never to, ch to change to another church. And live accordingly, not only by saying I'm a Catholic, but by living the gospel as the church leaders ev every day teach me. Then you will be okay. Go in peace. I think we have prayed to God enough. Now it is time for gifts. Dear friends, people of God, it's time for offer tree. Let us offer to God in thanksgiving, and after we shall have the offertory procession, led by the director and the principal.
and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, then Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and mothers, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray in confidence, with confidence in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, hallowed be thy name.
brothers and sisters, because it's present, I can discuss. I believe it's for all who prepared to come and receive the rest of the blessed sacrament, which shall be given in the compliment and the soul commitment.
Let us pray. May the pouring of the Holy Spirit cleanse our hearts, O Lord, and make them fruitful by the inner sprinkling of his dew. We ask this through Christ our Lord. of light, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples, disciples' minds, by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the Rapid, grant you gladness by his grace, and make you always bound with the gift of the same Spirit. Say Amen. May the wondrous name that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your heart from the every people and pervade them with purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of the only one faith, give you perseverance in the same faith, and by believing, may you journey from hope and a clear vision. Before I give you the last breath, blessing, I'm grateful to those who have been involved in the liturgical celebrations. The singers, the band, the dancers, the readers, you've been very well prepared. Thank you, thank you very much. The staff, this is your pride, to see that these young people can do all that. And please give them time for physical exercise. You have a lot of energy. You will see the last dancers. You will dance for the whole day. You have a lot of them. You should really like sports. God gives you so much, much, and let it come. I tell you, enjoy your youth. And this will come. You know each other, you need to interact with so many people so that by the time you leave this college, you will be knowledgeable about the life of different cultures. That is very important. Let me just be in your cocoon. Our trade, right? You know. Mix with any. And involve yourself in all these activities. They make you a strong person. Are you getting me? Are you good? Are you? Yes. I'm grateful to the staff members, those who have prepared these people for this day. Thank you very much. And now I give you the last blessing. I pray that really all of you have a bright future. But in case God gives you success to get a good job, you should never forget God. Amen. It is consoling for us, Chris Okwa, to see important people in a given area also very active in the church. This is important. 
And you don't get it over all the Sunday. Start now. Now all those people who have been uh, leaders of different activities. Now I think tomorrow they will be the leaders of party communities, wherever they may be. This is my wish. My concern in this world where you have so many evangelizers. And maybe Father Boyle should teach you who wrote the Bible. How did it come about? Because people use the Bible. But do they, do they know the origin of that? Do they know who put all that together? Do they know the official interpreters originally? Today we can use the Bible for anything. Are we all right? I don't think so. Not everybody can read it and understand it. So it is someone who I'm a conversant with what is behind the Savior of Christ, especially more so for the Old Testament. You need to know that. Otherwise, you can stop it, misinterpret it. Now I give you blessing and I wish you a very good day. May the Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go on enjoying the day as young people. Yes, sir, I think it's the only that you get for them, sir. Come, come, come here. Come to us. Uh, yes, uh, I will take this opportunity to guide us through the next activity. Uh, the first photo uh, will be the first photo will be between the bishop and the core celebrant first. photo will be between the bishop and the post celebrants. And when that is done, then we shall have uh, the bishop with the director. The director. Yes, we should smile as we take these photos. These are so many photographs. Uh, most of which will appear in our, on, our, on our calendars and other magazines. The co celebrants should join in. And then after that, I would request that uh, the principal, uh, I mean the head teachers, the board of governors, the chairman board of governors, Mr. Senior, they will join in together with the board members. They will join in to have the photograph. The director should stay there. And after that, I expect all staff members uh, of our land of Africa, Namiliango campus, and our Lady of Africa Junior School and our Lady of Africa Kono Campus to be coming. Please come and have a photo with the bishop. Uh, there are those opportunities that come once in a lifetime. Uh, so, and after the photograph of the bishop, the board members, and the administrators, we shall then have the staff members. Where are the staff members? Let me have the staff members coming nearer, just that we patch up the time. After that, of course, the choir should prepare. And the choir will have the photo with the bishop. But before the choir, we shall have the confirmants also having a photo with the bishop. So please be ready. Where are the staff members? Staff members of Northern of Africa schools <laughs> yes 
those are the staff members of our Lady of Africa schools. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the conference. Our request as the staff members are leaving, uh, the government will come in an organized way. Come. We are trying to set time. Come and be nearer here. Yes, the government will have a photograph with the bishop. I request uh, that the director and uh, wife is here. Uh, I know you are very many, but I'm going to cut some off. Hurry up because you're walking very slowly. Yes. 
Uh, the prefix, I'm remaining only three seconds and I tell you to go away. So smile. Why are you annoying? Smile. You are with the bishop. Uh, that is enough. Our leaders, that is enough. Please, Mr. Margot, stay there. Uh, the bishop requested to have the photograph with Madame Harriet. Uh, where is Vivian? Where is Vivian? Where is my senior accountant? Yes, that was requested by the bishop. Where are the students who work with the liturgy, the chief organizers of this ceremony? Give me some representatives, just very fast. Stand behind me here. You've done a very good job organizing this. Day and night, sleepless nights. So you deserve that photograph. Of course, I am working with you. Yes, after that, let these students uh, also have a photograph with the bishop. They really invested a lot of time and energy and commitment in the organization of this liturgy. Please go there before I cancel. Please, I would like to know where Vivian is. She has made it a point to really dodge our photographs today. Uh, these are the students that work with the liturgy as far as organization of mass. When you look at this ceremony, they were behind it. They really invested a lot of time and energy. And they are brave. So they deserve this. Thank you very much for being part of this organization. Uh, I don't know, but whoever has seen Vivian anywhere, the photographs are by us, and they wanted that to be part of the last photograph. I think that is enough. The last photograph will be principal, director, and the bishop. The principal, director, and the bishop. That would be the last one. Thank you for operating. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Matovu, the directors of Our Land of Africa Schools, for being part and parcel of this wonderful story. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, right about now after the photographs, uh, next on our program, uh, we we are going to have. So we shall request. So the choir, we shall request the choir to sing an exit song, as our dear uh, priests and our main celebrant are putting off the priests. Please, the choir. And immediately after that, we shall then get to know the next activity.
Wait, wait. Did you see that? Yes, as uh, the Sam Muzadakan and the team are leading the clutch where they are going to change from and then come back here after a small refreshment. We want to thank um, Mr. Adimu and your team for recognizing a problem and getting a solution there, which is very practical. Thank you very much uh, for reducing on the amount of gas that we are raising. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to again welcome you from that particular activity. Uh, and I would like to thank us all of the students, all the guests, all the staff, supporting and teaching staff of our lady for being part and parcel of the Just for Grooming Mass. Please clap for yourselves. We would like in a special way uh, to thank our main celebrant, uh, His Lordship, Right Reverend Bishop Matthias Sekamanya, Emeritus Rugazi Diocese, for leading us in the sacrifice of Mass. Please clap for him. <laughs> we would like also in a special way to thank the choir. Please clap for the choir again. They deserve to be appreciated because they have invested time in practice. They invested their energies in mastering uh, the different melodies that they have been able to exhibit during the Mass. Thank you very much. We really appreciate. I would like to take this opportunity also uh, to welcome our dear parents a hand clap for our parents who have attended today. Our dear parents, thank you, thank you very much uh, for choosing to be part of us today. You could have been anywhere in the world, probably looking for money or running businesses or running institutions, but you decided to be part of us today. So the Our Lady community really appreciates the time you invested in us today. May God reward you abundantly. I would also like to thank uh, the teachers uh, who have been with us. Please clap for the teachers. They are seated among us there. Uh, our dear teacher, thank you very much for supervising and maintaining order during Mass. And we continue to request that you continue doing that until we finish today's program. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to remind you of how we are going to run the next program. As we are speaking right now, uh, the clergy has gone to have a small refreshment and they are going to be back here uh, in the next 10-15 minutes. And when they are back, this is how we are going to run the program. We shall start the afternoon program with anthems and the, and the anthems will be led by none other than the band from Our Lady of Africa Junior School, Mukasa. Uh, we can't wait to have our young brothers and sisters lead us through that particular event. Uh, immediately after the anthems, uh, I will request that the students who are supposed to recite a poem to organize uh, be very nice to the MC today such that when I call upon a given category of students you are already around. Uh, the students who are supposed to recite a poem will then recite a poem immediately after the anthem so you have to be around the corner such that when I call upon you you show up. Just after the poem, I request that the student's representative, that particular student who's going to represent the student's body, uh, to come and give a speech. Please, when I talk about a speech, I request that you be brief, you be very clear, and you be to the point. So the student's representative, who is actually the president 
of our Lady of Africa Senior Secondary School Nagliago. Immediately after the poem, you will come and give your remarks. Immediately after that, then the head teacher of our Lady of Africa Senior Secondary School Nagliago campus will then give us her remarks. And after that, the community of our Lady of Africa Senior Secondary School Mukono campus will give us a presentation immediately after the head teacher's speech. So I request that uh, the individual in charge of these particular students, you organize them such that by that time they are ready. Just after that presentation then, we shall have brief remarks from the Chairman Board of Governors, who then I will introduce uh, at that particular moment. And then after that we shall have remarks from the Director of our Lady of Africa Schools. Uh, after the director, we shall have remarks from the school chaplain, uh, the school chaplain who has been with us throughout mass, will give his remarks. After the school chaplain, then we shall have a dance. Now there are some students who have been prepared to present a dance today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are part of that group, be ready, such that we run the program as fast as we can, so we don't overstay here, because we have lunch to come thereafter, all this program. Uh, after the, the dance, then we shall have the parish priest of Namiyango giving us his remarks, because we are in his area of jurisdiction. So, we will give you his remarks, we shall have an interlude of one song, and then the parish priest of Namiyango will invite the main celebrant, who is our chief guest, the bishop, to give the closing remarks. We shall close today, of course, with anthems and lunch. So, as I said earlier, it's going to be a late lunch. Right about now, I would like to allow the students to have a very short breather. I am giving you five minutes. I need you back in your seats after five minutes. Please don't make me to send soldiers to come for you, because I have some SFCs around. Please get a breather, stretch your legs, and come back as fast as you can.
We are His chosen race, His messengers of hope. Let's spread His love to the world. You are baptized and sent to win its name as Christ. With love and hope, put your trust in Jesus Christ. Go forth to all the ends of the earth. Be strong and firm in faith like the Uganda martyrs. Uganda martyrs, things are sinful. Archbishop of Kampala in Uganda. Jesus 
Yes, uh, I request that we come back and take our seats and move very fast because our main celebrants together with the priests, they are coming back as we are speaking. So you don't want to enter when the chief guest is already seated. Please come back and sit. Thank you very much for cooperating. Do it very fast. Do that very fast. Do it fast. Thank you very much. As I said earlier, if you know in charge of any presentation, once I call you and you take 30 seconds without showing up, I cancel it. I go to the next program. So you need to be alert and very, very, very steady. Uh, students, take your seats, take your seats. Take your seats.
Ladies and gentlemen, students, please sit down. Sit down, the bishop is coming. Students, students, I don't want to finish this day and I have a display committee seating. Move very fast. The bishop is coming back to the tent. Move very fast. Sit down and settle and respect this afternoon program. We shall finish it within no time and then we shall proceed to other programs. Settle down, uh, the staff members who are around, uh, we can assist in settling down the students. I will request the people in charge of the canteen to close it immediately. Always, they will get a suspension. We shall have no canteen for the next two days. Uh, the people in charge of the canteen close. I will open the canteen when I say so. I have said there are my spy. If you don't close, two days. That's special. Yes, I would like to thank very much the students who have managed to hit to the call. Uh, and we are back and we are settled in our chairs. Please settle down because the bishop is coming back and the moment they arrive in this stage, uh, basically, we shall officially start the afternoon program as I read it earlier. But of course, uh, for the sake of our chief guest, I will have to read the program again such that he gets to know how we are going to run the program. Please settle down. Settle down, especially students that are on my left. You are over moving. I need you to settle. I would like to request that no any other activity from the canteen to the government not to go to the students is very
the band of Our Lady of Africa Senior Secondary School Namiliango. Right about now ladies and gentlemen, uh, next on the item we shall have anthems to officially start off the afternoon session of our program led by the band from Our Lady of Africa Junior School Okasa. You are most welcome. Please lead us through the anthems. I request that we all stand.
Standard Sun Club for all your working up, giving us food in Qatar. Uh, we can all take our seats. I would like to welcome the Chairman, Board of Governors and your members who come and take your seats at the platform. School of Hassa. Thank you for leading us through the anthem and giving us that entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to let you know this is how we are going to carry out the afternoon program. We've just had our anthems. Uh, after the anthem, we shall have then a poem that is going to be recited by Our Lady of Africa Senior Secondary School, Namiriango campus so they should be taking stage as I speak. Just after that we shall have remarks from the head teacher of Ireland of Africa Senior Secondary School Namiriango campus and after that I requested that our brothers and sisters from Ireland of Africa Senior Secondary School Bukono campus will come and then give us a presentation and after that ladies and gentlemen we shall have remarks from the chairman board of governors of our lady schools uh, then we shall have remarks from the director of Our Lady Schools. Then we shall have remarks from the school chaplain uh, of Our Lady of Africa uh, Schools. We shall have a presentation after those many remarks, which will be a dance that will be presented, of course, by Our Lady of Africa, Namiriango. Then after that, we shall have remarks from the parish priest uh, of Namiriango. Then we shall have an interlude that will then usher in the closing remarks from our main celebrant, the bishop. We shall close the afternoon session with anthems as we go for lunch and the departure will be a pleasure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome our lady of Africa, Namiriango, reciting a poem. Remember, we are born. 
spiritual and spiritual, guided by prayers and guidance, for a spiritual motive to be raised and groomed in Christ. Why not embrace church? From baptism, I entered church, lighting a candle in my right hand. In their arms, I was held. Given a Christian name, Rachel, I became. Standing on the altar, joyful it was. After confirmation, strong I became. Oh, myself, great it was. Listen, listen, listen. Listen to the sending voices. Voices full of grief. Raising concern. Concern upon society. The youth in particular. Ejabayeme, Kuba, Shisha, Waladina, Juma. Boozing like nothing. Open your eyes and see what you're doing. Open your eyes and see what you're doing. Open your eyes and see what you're doing. You may see me smart, sharp, and wise. It's because I went to school to learn to read and write at large. A, B, C, B, C, M, T, F, G, I, J, I, J, K, A, M, O, B, O, B, G, R, S, R, S, T, V, U, D, W, X, Y, Z. Yes, indeed. Bishop Sekamanya, Tata Tukwebaza, Oramili Mwamajo Kozo Kwebaza, no, we are Babana Kugambi, Avataina, or Quel Maruma Muchachi Kotaina, or Mukamatiambe, the Tubi Wangula. We stand on the foundation, Christ in our hearts and souls, children and elders embracing unity, in church and outside church. That's what we want. It's God's desire. The Lord is the source of wisdom. The God fair is the for many generations. Gentlemen, that is our land of Africa. Senior Secondary School, Namiriango Campus. Give them a hand clap. Thank you very much, and great appreciation goes to the trainers and the organizers of the students, but also the students for the great talent you have exhibited while reciting that poem. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take this opportunity. Uh, to recognize uh, special people amidst us. Uh, I would like to recognize the presence of His Lordship, the Right Reverend Bishop Matthias Sekamanya, Emeritus Fugazi Diocese. Um, I would like to recognize the presence of Reverend Father Ignatius Chivumbi, uh, the parish priest Namiyango Parish. I would like to recognize the presence of Reverend Father Dr. Uh, who is the pastoral coordinator of Gazi Diocese and the parish priest St. Augustine Santa Parish. Uh, he was once our chaplain here, so we welcome you back with a lot of joy. I uh, would like also to organize the presence of Reverend uh, Father Dr. Gerard Wevu, who is our school chaplain and also serves as the Education Secretary of Lugazi Diocese. Uh, I would like also to, rep uh, to recognize the presence of Reverend Father Wang Simbi uh, from Namiyango Parish, and also recognize the presence of Reverend Father uh, Kelemet Bakachi from Yega Seminary. Uh, I would like to recognize the presence of Reverend Father Maweji uh, the chaplain of Namiriango College. I thank you for coming. I would like to recognize the presence of Reverend Father Dennis Chibirige, uh, who is the parish priest of Chikwa Parish. Thank you very much for joining us. I would like also to recognize the presence of Reverend Father Simeo uh, Butareva, uh, who is the bishop in secretary and comes from Namagunga Parish. Uh, I would like to also take this opportunity to recognize the presence of Reverend Father Everest Katerega, who is the youth chaplain of Gazi Diocese and also comes from Mukono Parish. Thank you very much for 
honoring our invitation and thank you very much for being part of our Lead of Africa schools on such a very special occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to recognize uh, the presence of Mr. Mato Vincent, the director of Our Lady of Africa Schools. <laughs> allow me also to recognize the presence of Mrs. Lillian Matovu, the principal of Our Lady of Africa Schools. <laughs> allow me also to take this opportunity to recognize the presence of Mr. Senior Joe Moses, who is the chairman board of governors of Our Lady of Africa Schools. Um, there are other board members who have joined us. Allow me also to take this opportunity to recognize your presence, our dear board members. And at an opportune time, the chairman will introduce each one of them when he comes to give his remarks. But also allow me to take this opportunity to recognize the presence of Mrs. Harriet Matofu, the head teacher of this campus. Uh, Mr. Kasumba Powell, the head teacher of Our Lady of Africa, Mukono Campus. And Mr. Sebugwao Dennis, the head teacher of Our Lady of Africa, Junior School, Bukasa. Thank you for honoring our invitation. All administrators present in your, in your different capacities, we highly, highly appreciate your presence. Allow me at this juncture, uh, welcome the student representative to give his brief remarks. Clap for him as he comes. Oh, ha. Where is the present? Yes. Thank you very much. Your Lordship, Bishop. The priest, the director, the principal, the board of governors, the administrators, the staff members, dear parents, student leaders, and the students of the college. Good afternoon. My name is Otto Richard, the president of this mighty institution. I take this chance to welcome you all to our Lady of Africa, SS Namiliango campus. You must welcome. I thank you, the Lord Bishop, Emeritus, for the pastoral care that you have shown to this school as its first bishop and the first bishop of this diocese, and up to now as the Emeritus. When you first came here, we were not there, but today will be memorable as we are here to remember this day. A date of gratitude to the director of this schools, our lady schools, the principal, the administration, the staff members, the teachers, their parents, and the students for being part of this gathering. I thank you all. I thank my dear brothers and sisters who have been confirmed in Catholic faith today and those who have made their solemn commitment. Our dear brothers and sisters should be firm in the truth and faith and be guided by the Holy Spirit, whose gifts you have shared today. When you feel like you should turn, always remember this day, the vows you've made to God in presence of the bishop and all the religious leaders here. In a special way, I thank the choir members, the organizers, and everyone involved for helping us animate Mass we are so much grateful to have you here. We shall always be guided by the Holy Spirit and how I wish this is the spirit everyone here has. 
Thank you so much, everyone here. The Lord Bishop Emeritus, most welcome once again to our Lady of Africa. Ever forward remains a school motto for God and my country. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, uh, our dear president, for that wonderful speech with meaningful words. And I thank you for being very humble. Did you realize he's so humble when he was giving his speech? <laughs> yes, he is in authority and is the leader of the students' body, but he still exhibits a high level of humility. Uh, please carry on with that. It's very important for success in life. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to alert our leader of Africa, Mukono. Please assemble there for your presentation such that immediately after the next speech, you come on ground. I don't want you seated there if you're going to give us a presentation. Why? You're going to take long to come when your time comes. So I request the teachers in charge uh, of our Lady of Africa Mkono campus to organize the students. I would like to see you at the entrance there. Right about now, I'd like to welcome the head teacher of Our Lady of Africa Senior Secondary School, Namiliango. Mrs. Harry at all. Uh, he will be joined with fellow head teachers of other campuses as she gives us her remarks. Yes, clap for them as they arrive. Encourage them. Our diocese. We thank our parish priest, 
Reverend Kivumbi Ignatius, our school chaplain, Reverend Father Dr. Buevu, the catechists, for all the catechism lessons and instruction to our learners. They also deserve a big hand clap. In a special way, I welcome pupils from Cornerstone Primary School. Thank you for joining us. I assure you that we have vacancies for all of you when you complete P7. Please don't look for schools. If you are in P7, the school has already admitted you in Senior 1. So we deserve a hand clap for our generosity. This school is now 19 years of existence. Since its inauguration on 10th August 2003, we therefore thank God for all the achievements that have been registered over the years. The school operates on five core values, which we always remind ourselves of. One is God fearing. Dear Bishop, we are a God fearing institution. We value excellence. And we have already struggled to ensure that we excel. Endurance for success, cleanliness for beauty, and respect for all. We have a population of 3,000 students, out of which 2,000 are all Catholics. We thank you for having given the sacrament of baptism, I mean confirmation, to our dear Magolais. So the confirmants were very lucky to have been confirmed by our bishop. The staff has a population of 167 in total, 99 are teaching, 26 support, and 42 group employees. We thank the teaching staff for not abandoning their profession like so many teachers did during the two years of lockdown. You clap for the teachers. We are therefore proud to say these have helped us to maintain excellent performance for all the years. As I conclude, allow me to thank our church choir. Your efforts cannot go unnoticed. Senior 5 Science A1 and Senior 3 Pink, thank you so much for helping us Praise our Lord in this way today. They deserve another big hand clap. They are really putting a lot. Our dear trainers, headed by Mr. Sita Kami, please wave to the audience. Some people don't know you. We also have been sitting on the machines. Muruganda Baba Ita Abadongo. But they have really done very good work. They also deserve a hand clap. And whoever has put in, not forgetting the literature department, headed by Mr. Chipuri. These people have had sleepless nights to ensure that we have such a function. Thank you and thank you so much. It is our prayer that God grants you all a health of mind and a body to bear further meaningful and effective witness to God's divine love at all times and in all places. Those who have been confirmed, let us stay strong in our faith. Don't meander to look for other better buildings, other preachings, the Bible will always guide us. Please stay firm, like the bishop has emphasized. Enjoy this hospitality, our dear bishop, of your good people in our little of Africa. Once more, you're most welcome to Island of Africa, our bishop, and have a wonderful day. I remain Harriet Matovu, now who was a teacher of Island of Africa, Namibia. Yes, a thunderous hand clap for our dear head teacher and the head teachers that have accompanied her as she came to, ke to give us the remarks. We request that they can go back and take their seats. Please clap for them as they go. Thank you. Madam Harriet, thank you, Mr. Sebuguao, thank you, Mr. Kasumba. Your administrative efforts are really realized because we...
teacher and teaching staff, a very good afternoon to you all. We would love to present a special song for you, our Lord Bishop. And after that special song, there will also be a very beautiful song for our dear confirmants. We did forget you. Thank you very much.
and its presentation to our dear councilman. You're very much welcome. Enjoy.
the clergy present, the Board of Governors, and your invited guests here present. Permit me to associate myself with the introduction made by the MC. So I'm not going to repeat myself. To permit me to associate myself with the appreciation made by the headmistress that was on behalf of the board. Thank you so much, Madam Headmistress. My Lord Bishop, on behalf of the Board of Governors of this great school, I want to welcome you to our Lady of Africa Schools. You are most, most welcome, and in particular, to our Lady of Africa Nadiyam campus. My Lord Bishop, we thank you so much for accepting to come and preside over this function. Thank you so much for being with us and for giving us your quality time. We cannot take it for granted. Thank you so much. Allow me briefly also join the heading space in congratulating you for the 25 years the silver duty of our diocese. We need appreciate for all the achievements you made during your term of office. Thank you so much. And among the notable ones, which you might not know, my recognition is the diocese accepting to work with the private funded schools. We cannot take that for granted. We appreciate, appreciate so much the services which are extended to our schools. The chaplains always attached to our schools. We thank you so much. You can imagine a situation with such a population without someone to nourish the mind. We are very, very, very grateful for that. In the mass, my Lord Bishop, in your homie, which continued flowing throughout the mass, up to the end, there were several messages. Messages to our students, the confirmants, messages to the parents, and messages to us teachers and could be the Board of Governors. But one, the notable ones, you preached peace. We should be peaceful. We thank you so much for that. You preached faithfulness, not only to the confirmants, but to us all. Being truthful. These are some of the notable, notable issues you touched, my Lord Bishop. And there was one challenging one. And that one went to the teachers, to the staff. Yes, are we role models? Keeping these young ones who have just been confirmed in their faith, it requires the teachers to be role models. It requires the administration to be role models. Thank you so much for that challenge. And I pray that as a school, we shall live to that challenge. The parents of the confirmants, the appearance, there's a task. Our bishop noted it very clearly that these people are being confirmed at a rate. They were supposed to have had this in primary. But the work must continue. 
what they've been taught must continue in you and in us as a school. As teachers, as a school, we pray that we shall continue nurturing these young ones spiritually, but this should continue at home. We've noted so many homes where there is a challenge as far as this is concerned. My Lord Bishop, permit me at this point in time to introduce to you the members of the Board of Governors in this school. Senor de Moses Kiva, the one before you, is the chairperson of the Board of Governors. Before you, those present, we have Mr. Oketa, Oketa Bazi, the vice chairperson, finance. We have another member, Ronald Omukunguwa Kabaka, Ronald Kawadua. We also have Susan Namaz, again a member of the board. David Musoke is with us here, a member of the Board of Governors. And Mr. Simwanga Francisco, who has just left, but he has been with us. My Lord Bishop, this team has done a wonderful work as far as the management of the school is concerned. Thank you so much, body members, leading a team which is not function can become a problem. But thank you so much for being a functional board. Thank you. And I request our bishop, you put us in your prayers as we continue to serve the school to greater heights. As I wind up, I'd like to wish you a wonderful stay with us. Thank you so much. Well, another big hand clap, ladies and gentlemen, for the Chairman Board of Governors, uh, Mr. Senyonjo Moses Chiemba. Thank you very much for those wonderful words in your speech. Uh, we really also appreciate as staff of this school the great work that you do within us, leading us and guide us, guiding us to greater heights. Uh, right about now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I would like also to take this opportunity to welcome uh, Mr. Matom Vincent, the director of our of Africa Schools, to give his remarks. is good and all the time my lord bishop at times I don't stop at saying the lord is good but I say the lord is very good because of the blessings I've got from God Your Lordship, Right Reverend Matthias Sekamanya, Bishop Emeritus of Rugazi Diocese, the parish priest of Namiyambo Parish, where this school is found, Reverend Father Ignisas Chivombi, the school chaplain. Reverend Father Gerard Buenvu, dear priest present, board of governors, members present, all protocol observed. Let us march on. Let us march on. Our dear Bishop 
Martha Sekamanya, we thank you for having this pastoral visit to Our Lady of Africa schools, but in particular, Our Lady of Africa SS Namiliango. We also thank you for celebrating Mass and confirming our dear students and pupils. We do not feel just honored, but also blessed by your visit. My Lord, as the head teacher said, our Lord of Africa has been operating for the last 19 years. And quite a number of achievements have been reached. But allow me to mention these critical achievements in the school. The first is our end of Africa school, Namiriango, has in the last 19 years managed to get other educational institutions, which include our end of Africa, SS Namiriango, and our end of Africa, Junior. Our of Africa SS Mokono and Our of Africa Junior School Bokasa. In a special way, allow me mention this. The school is among the best, if not the best, science schools in the country we have today. Allow me also mention this, that our Lady of Africa schools are national schools. The schools have attracted students from all over the country. It has grown in terms of infrastructure, my Lord Bishop, you were here some time back on the pastoral visit, but the changes are enormous from that time to date. Our end of Africa schools do fill the working space with well nurtured and mentored resilient employees in the country and beyond. We give glory to the Lord for all achievements so far registered, but we appreciate your choice of this particular beast, not forgetting that this is the second beast to our land of Africa Ss Namiriango. My sons and daughters, that is very critical way to clap. We thank you for the blessing that has kept us moving forward always. My Lord Bishop, the diocese you started has made 25 years this year. Allow me also congratulate you, dear Bishop, and thank you for all that you did and you are continuing to do in the diocese as its first ordinary. In the 25 years of Lugazi Diocese, our Lord of Africa schools are proud to be part of the journey. It is our responsibility, my Lord, as Christians 
all the diocese to support it. We therefore pledge our support to the church and we commit ourselves to the Catholic values. To our dear the parish priest, Reverend Father Ignatius Shivombi, and our chaplain, we thank you for spiritual nourishment to this school and in a special way for organizing for this pastoral visit by Bishop Martha Sakamanya, Bishop Emeritus of Rugazi Diocese. Our catechists, we thank you for the catechism lessons and instruction to our students. To you, our dear parents, we thank you for the continued support to our dear children and pupils, and in a special way, the spiritual support you give to these young ones. The staff of our Lady of Africa, Namiriango, we thank you for organizing and preparing for this day. What do we do for that? Our dear students and all the conformants, it is your responsibility, as the bishop said, to practice what you have been taught. Many of you have been confirmed in the Catholic faith, remain Catholics, and live to the values in the Catholic Church. Allow me, my Lord Bishop, introduce a few people, but before I introduce them, allow me to say, dear fellow teachers in this institution, I thank you in a special way for the great commitment that you have got to our of Africa schools. Also in a special way, allow me to thank the Chairman Board of Governors, Mr. Senor Moses Chiemba, for the guidance with his board that has continued to give to the school. And allow me, my Lord Bishop, to tell you, he is the one who gave us, I with my wife, the idea of starting this institution in the year 2001. Uh, let me introduce my dear wife, Lillian Matovo, the principal of this institution. My Lord Bishop, this is my wife, Lillian Matofu, and we have been together for quite a number of years, almost in silver duty, coming soon. My Lord Bishop, I wish you a wonderful stay in our land of Africa, SS Namiriango, but when time comes to go back, I wish you Jane Masses. Let us march on. The Lord. the Lord is good all the time. And all the time, the Lord is good and we shall always continue to move forward as the motto says. Thank you very much. Yes. Another thunderous hand clap for our dear director and the principal as they take their seats.
Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Matovu and uh, Mrs. Matovu for giving us an opportunity, we as staff members, to serve this nation. We are also grateful for the opportunity you've given us. Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, we are having an interlude. Uh, the dancers, I can see you behind the tent there. Uh, can you please march in? Well, we want to have a small interlude uh, of the dancers. Uh, the staff member in charge of the students preparing the dance, uh, please organize. As I said earlier, I want to manage time. I want to be an English man. So I will manage time as much as I can. Now, as they assemble, they don't look like they are assembling fast as I, I need them. Allow me to take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome the school chaplain to give us his remarks as the dancers are assembling at the entrance. Uh, I would like, please put your hands together to welcome our school chaplain. As he comes, I expect the dancers to assemble at the entrance. Thank you. The Lord is good, and all the time. The director, Mr. Vincent Matobo, the principal, the chairperson, board of governors, and your team, the school administrators, and the teacher, and your team, our dear parents, our students, join me in thanking our Lord Bishop for celebrating this great day with us. I give thanks Sincere thanks and appreciation to my Lord Bishop for leading us in a wonderful celebration. You have confirmed our, our young boys and girls and you have made them to be, to be confirmed and grow strong in our Catholic faith. The confirmation mass was solemn and beautiful, and I offer thanks to God and to you, my Lord Bishop, and to all those who have made it successful. My Lord Bishop, your presence among us is a, a, a sign of true love that you have for the people of God, for the entire church of Lugazi Diocese. And you always go beyond yourself to minister to us, for because you are a true pastor to us. And as a chaplain of this good school, I want to tell you, Bishop, that there is an enabling environment in this school which enables our learners to succeed in a number of things, not only in academics, but spiritually. And still in your presence, I want to thank Mr. and Mrs. Matovo, the director and principal of this school, for loving their faith. and making sure that the learners in this school are well taken care of spiritually. And not only the learners, but all the staff. The staff is supported in so many ways. Those who want to get married in church, they are given great support. And I want to thank them in your presence. And indeed, they must have read Proverbs 
racing which says that in everything you know, put God first and he will direct you and crown your efforts with success. They are succeeding because they have put God first. To our dear candidates that have been confirmed, their sponsors, the family members, join me in giving great thanks to God because our dear ones have been confirmed and some have made commitment to our Lord and they have chosen to be confirmed and make a commitment and to remain Catholics until death. And I pray that they keep that with your support. I continue to pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to guide all of us with the sevenfold gifts as we had Bishop preaching to us and explaining each of the gifts to us. And as we seek to draw closer to our Lord, my dear Bishop, I want to wish you well that the good Lord who guided you and gave you a safe journey to this place, may he also guide you as you travel back home safely. Let us march on. Thank you very much, our dear chaplain, for that wonderful message. As I said earlier, we shall have a break of uh, a dance just to rejuvenate our minds such that uh, the two speeches remaining can then find minds that are fresh. So right about now, our Lady of Africa Senior Secondary School, Nandiyango, is presenting a dance. Please welcome them. Thank <laughs> you. 
We thank God also in a special way for giving us such a beautiful day. It's very beautiful, not, not very dry, not very shiny, shiny or hot, but it's, it's such a very beautiful day and time. And that's why we say the Lord is good. And all the time. I want in this in another special way thank Mr. Vincent Matovu and his wife Radian Matovu for the idea or the vision which themselves have told us they got from Mr. Moses uh, Senyonjo of starting this school. This school is really a wonderful institution in our parish. It's one of the institutions we admire and we cherish because of its standards and the, the mission and the motto. As we have heard, all much well in our, in our community, especially today in our Uganda. Thank you very much, Mr. Matovo, and your wife for establishing this institution in our Paris. I cannot, I cannot forget the day when you come to my, my office to introduce me this idea. Uh, that's way, way back that we won't start, we won't start this next kind of school here in Namiliango. And uh, uh, you started uh, at the full speed, and you see continuing on this full speed, as you can see all the developments that are put here. I'm sure this institution is contributing a lot to the community of Namiyango Paris and the country at large. So, Mr. and Mrs., thank you so much for that wonderful vision and the, and the, and the implementation of the idea. Let me stress Mrs. Harriet, who always confuses me because uh, the headmistress of the school is Mrs. Harriet Matovu. The principal of the school is Mrs. Ria Matovu. So sometimes I get confused, <laughs> but I know they the good thing. I can always address them accordingly. So the headmistress, thank you very much for being a good, a good manager of this school. Uh, one time I asked Father Mbo and Father, Father Boyenbo, but how does this lady manage to control this big group of over 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 students? They told me he does it very, very well. Well, thank you, Harriet, for such a wonderful management. <laughs> the same, the same together, you are thanked for your contribution to the young ones. Thank you. Whatever you do for them, is really commendable. Our chaplain, Father, Father Dr. Wembu, thank you for sparing your time to come over almost every week to meet the students and the staff to direct them spiritually. As we was introduced, Father Wembu is also the, the student education secretary. When I asked him to help us with this work of uh, guiding the, the, the community of Holland, I knew that he's busy, but he's always spending some time to come and assist the community. So, Father Wengu, I hear you for that work, uh, that spirit. Thank you for all spending time to come and uh, help these people. Uh, dear Bishop, we are happy with this school because of their core values which they have expressed to us, God-fearing, excellency, success, Cleanliness, respect for all. But in particular way, as a past priest, I thank the, uh, the, the community for being God fearing. At their state, their age, these people would be very difficult to manage. But because they are God fearing, I think things are going on smoothly in this school. We come here almost every Sunday to lead them in a liturgical celebration. And this is one of the institutions that make, feel, make us feel happy with. They are very uh, active in particip and participation 
And their liturgy is quite, is quite good and sweet. They have a very good, good choir and strong one. So you feel really energized, energized as, a, as, a, as a celebrant. So I thank the, the, the managers of the school for maintaining that, uh, that, that, that value in the students, especially God-fearing. Thank you, and the students, thank you very much for being a, a cooperative in that line. Whenever we come here, I know the priests are sending here to help with mass on, mass on Sundays. They come and they inform that, Father, you have one of the best community of school in Namiriango. So thank you very much, Poland, oh, our Lady of Africa, Namiriango. <laughs> and also, this, these young people are very respectful. If you come here, you see how they treat you, how they respect you. And this is quite wonderful because today Uganda is faced with many challenges that some youth don't mind about even their parents. They see them, they see them as equals and they treat them like that. But this is different uh, in this institution. So we commend you and we thank you for that, that wonderful attitude. Allow me also to thank the mutual relationship of this institution and the Paris as such. Uh, we live and we work together in a such good, a good uh, ambience of good relationship. We have an association of, of, our, of, of our institutions in Namibian Paris, and these people are always with us, especially the headmistress. Yeah, our, our, our students, you remember what the bishop told you in mass, especially the, the brides, that be firm in your Catholic faith. And this is what I told you about three weeks ago when I came here to, to witness those who are receiving personal communion. And I told you, please, don't digress from your, from your Catholic faith. Be courageous, be loyal what you have, you have become. So the, the bishop has told you the same message which I told you, and it's a very good message that you have to keep in your life always. Uh, we want to thank the director and the principal and the administrators for allowing today's research in this place, which I, I for one, have learned so much. This is a very wonderful venue, and I pray that we may always gather here for such celebration, a special liturgy. It's a very good ground which brings life to the prayer. So thank you very much. I wish to, to end here. Wish each and, each and everybody a very beautiful day. Let us enjoy ourselves. The bishop told you, you young ones, that enjoy your youth. Eh? Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay. Another hand clap for the parish priest, Nariyango Parish. Thank you very much, Your Grandfather Ignatius Vumi, for those wonderful words you've given us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as I told you, uh, I'll try as much as possible to manage time. So I am having only one last interlude, and then I will again, I would like to apologize to do this, I will again invite you, Reverend Father Ignatius Vumi, to invite the bishop when that time comes. I hope I am allowed to do that. But thank you very much for allowing in advance. I'm a and gentlemen, Be Catholic. This is of Africa, Senior Secondary School, Namiango Campus, presenting a song that is going to usher in our last speech. And the last speech, of course, is going to come from our main celebrant. 
So I will request that you give them a hand clap as they organize themselves on the stage. I want to take this opportunity to thank you students for being very patient and being very disciplined and being an enduring group. Thank you very much and may God bless you abundantly for your patience. Uh, we are remaining with only one major item, so I hope you remain as patient as you've been since the start of this activity. I welcome our Lady of Africa, Namiliango.
Wale of Africa, Senior Secondary School, Namiriango Campus for the wonderful presentation. As they leave state, please clap for them. We want to thank the trainers, we want to thank Mr. Senyonga for your tireless efforts and uh, your guidance. Uh, and also identify good talent among the students, we really appreciate that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time when I will again invite the parish priest, Namiriango Parish, to come and do the honors of inviting our main celebrant. Thank you very much, Father. Lord Bishop, I once again take this opportunity to thank you for gracing our day while you are busy. And I would like to now to invite you to come and give another address to this congregation. Thank you. I'm very hungry, so I'll try to eat briefly. And I intend to start Thank with you. the dog okay. doubles. So, Mr. Matoku, the director Thank of the school okay. with your wife, the board of governors, the chaplain, dear fathers, teachers, wherever you may be, at all, Shall I say staff, staff members, I once again thank you for this very good prepared day. Students, you have done a lot, and today you are going to, to do it by eating as much as possible. I hope there is enough food for you. Are you sure of that? Now, Mr. Matovu and your wife, plus the members of your board were doing a good job. But for me, I wait to see whether your job will be fruitful. You are leaders, you are creative. I want you to share that with your students. So that tomorrow, we get a minister, a president, the one who heads the medical department in Mulago, in every, every sector from this school. What I want to say, give them the skills of leadership. Be creative, not to be implementers, but create creators of different aspects of life. This is what I want. I will not see it because I will have gone, but this is my prayer. But this school, really produces students who will take the leadership of this country in every aspect possible in our country. I'm grateful to you members of the board because you are the brain of all what we are sharing today. Please continue and the country will see that through some time. Mr. Senyonjo, you say so many things I know you since long, continue. I give you the same challenge. And one of the points which are important today is self-discipline, self-control. Know what you need, stick to it, and the rest don't bother. The head teachers of different schools will be what you are. I don't know you all, but first of all, be God loving. If you love God, the students will see that by the way you live, by the way you handle them. The leaders of fellow students, this is the occasion to, try to, to make yourself a leader. Don't just be a leader here. See, what is your strength? What are the opportunities to improve your leadership? What would be your challenges?
to fail. Today, if you use this opportunity of leadership here, I think from among you, some of them are going to be leaders in our country. These entertainments are just training you. Clubs. Now, I saw the scouts here. I'm a scout up to now. I started in primary school. Up to now. I've been, I've gone to all to different stages. I went to cars, that was the time of a voting. And I still have the street of scouts. One of them is to be practical, to be creative, and then effective leader. That's all what I, I wish you to do. Science. That's a very important su subject today. But then, continue by discovering other things. Science needs other, 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 other aspects of life. History. Now, how many are professors with the history of Uganda? Sibo Ikiwa. Oyinza kutakula mbo Uganda. Kakuleke. These are the things which you should teach your children at home so that they know their roots. You walk as a Muganda. Okay? We don't mean that. All this we need should be part of the literature. This entertainment you have done to me uh, part and parcel of your training. You don't just have to be in books, but be sociable and share whatever you have been given with others. I insist upon this outside class activities, scouting, girl guides, now even singing. I don't know whether I'm mistaken. I've seen more girls singing than boys. And if you get married to a man who is so dull, let's go to a dad. Ah, you go. Yeah. Life will be different. So boys also, you go. These are occasionally for entertain for relaxing. You both need that. So don't you neglect the boys, even for dancing and all that. It is part of the person of life. I just conclude by saying thank you for whatever you have done. I fear to repeat much of what you have seen. But I think everything has been done well. For you students, now start dreaming what you want to be. You are studying after here what you want to be. First of all, what type of course do you want to take? Will that keep your faith? Will that keep you also sociable? What contribution do you think you will give to our country? To your school even, you should be proud of this school. Now you have this group of the Board of Governors. Some of you will, should come. And we come, this is soon they will be old. But now we need successors who will continue this work even after these people have aged. You do that for God in our, our country. I wish you the best of God's blessing. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe I give you the blessing that God may help you that all oh, what you have done on this day, the source of God's kindness to bless you, to be successful in this world. But not only in this world, if you remain God-loving, that all what you are acquiring may help you to go to heaven. The Lord, the Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You have a wonderful MC. You have done well. Thank you. Yes, uh, another hand clap for our main celebrant. 
uh, Nicholas, for the fact that we are coming to the closure of this session. So we say we are going to close with Athens, and the moment I would like to invite uh, the junior school to give us one anthem, that is the Uganda anthem, and then after that we close. And please remain seated, all of you, except the high table, such that I can guide you on how we are going to leave this place and where we are going. So right now let's have only the Uganda anthem as we close this session. I would request the students body to stand in respect of that anthem. And immediately after that, we should sit and then listen to the next guidelines. Thank you for cooperating. Only the Uganda anthem. Be Catholic. Be proud of being a Catholic. Put on your rosary and be proud of what you believe. 